What's up, YouTubers? This is Leon from Buck and Slug Reloaders. Check us out on Facebook. Right now, I'm going to do a quick little video on the difference or the differences between the different types of shotgun hulls commonly used for reloading and how you can tell what's. You know, I get a lot of questions on use taper hulls for slugs, which hulls are better for buckshot, so on and so forth. How can I tell the difference? So, right now I'm going to do this little video. I hope it helps you guys out. So, we're going to start with tapered holes. The most common tapered holes you see on the market right now today is the Winchester AA HS, uh, the Remington STSs, the Nitros. The Nitros are basically identical to the STSs except for their golden color. And you got the Remington Gun Club, the Remington Heavy Dove Shot, and over here we had the old school, old style uh, Winchester AA, uh, which they don't make anymore. And I'm going to show you the difference between the old style AA's compared to the new style. So, the old style were of a one piece construction uh, that, that basically don't contain a plastic base wall like the new ones do and um, I believe these are or they were these were injection molded I'm pretty sure they were uh, they stopped making those and they went to the new style which you can see here has that plastic base wall in them and the only reason why they did that was to save money because it's actually cheaper to manufacture um, the new double A's like this as compared to the old style so what makes this a taper hull well if you can see the body of the hull goes all the way down it's pretty much even in thickness till you get about right here then it starts to thicken out and it gets thicker and thicker till you got that nice little taper right there now that taper was designed um, to build up adequate pressure when using fast burning powder for target loads so when you compare the old style to the new style, you can see that plastic base wall right there that actually um, causes or puts the taper in the hull as compared to the taper being molded in the hull itself. So um, I don't care for the new style HS hulls. Reason being is a lot of times um, it can be a pain to get your your wad to fit in their flush uh, to get a good fit to create that good gas seal because the gas seal on your wad tends to get caught up on that hull not all the time but it does for me so I don't care for them and when that happens it can affect the way uh, the crimp is on your 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 hull now if you look at the Walmart brand right here it is the exact same construction as the double A's they both use that plastic base wad plastic tapered base wad the only difference is the body on the Walmart hulls that, that, that you buy in the big old box is ribbed and it's thinner some guys don't like to use these um, because they don't last as long as the double A's do. The double A's, the plastic is thicker, it's more more stiff. You can get a lot more reloads out of these than you can these here. But these aren't bad. Um, I don't like either one of them, but I've have, you know, I, I have in the past used them. So and I guess they did did okay. Now my favorites are the Winchester or I'm sorry, the Rem the Remington SCSs or the Nitros. They're pretty much a one piece construction. You can see the taper. See how it tapers down? You don't have that plastic base wad there. And uh, so you have no chances of your tapered wad being stuck, getting hung up on that lip right there. <clears throat> so the construction of those are very similar to the old style double A's. I wish Remy or I wish Winchester would bring the old style back. So that's pretty much the difference. 
um, the gun clubs uh, has the same taper you can see it real nice there the difference between the gun clubs uh, the heavy shot dove and the STS's is, is pretty much the same thing as the cheap Walmart ones the body is thinner it's ribbed and you'll get a lot more reloads out of these than you would these so moving right along here's a couple of examples of your straight wall hauls federal rio rio makes uh, you know they make shotgun hauls for a handful of uh, uh shot shell makers out there one being kimmon uh Mon monarch as you can see if you take the monarch hull compare these three you got the Kimmon, the Rio, the Monarch, the exact same thing. The only difference is the color. So now, <clears throat> what makes this a straight wall hull? Well, if you see from the cutout, the body maintains the thickness all the way down to the base wad and to the brass head. So I prefer these for buckshot and slugs because you can fit a lot more powder in here depending on how high your base wad is. Uh, you can fit a lot more powder. Uh, for me, it seems like my wads fit. Um, it's, a, it's a better fit and they're just overall better. So, if we was to take a straight wall haul like this Rio here and compared it to a taper haul, you can see the difference right here see how it starts to taper where on the straight wall hulls there's no taper now with a lot of these European style hulls they use uh, these are actually a three-piece hull they use a process now y'all gonna have to forgive my, cr my my country ass grammar but it's called the Reifenhausen or something like that process on how they basically make these slugs Whereas your Winchesters and your Remingtons are like some type of poly injection molded something. But anyway, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much the differences in straight wall versus tapered is the actual internal, um, the internal capacity on how much charge or powder that, that the, the wad can hold or not the wad, but the hull can hold. Also, all of your three inch and three and a half inch magnum hulls from Federal, Winchester, and Remington, those will also be all straight wall hulls. The only difference in those will be uh, what, uh, what the, the, the base wad is made, made out of. Some have plastic base wad, some have, you know, some have paper, and also the height. So, like this one here, this is a... Uh, I believe this is a Winchester um, I use for duck hunting. Three inch straight wall construction. You know, you can see there's no taper. Um, so that's pretty much it. I prefer straight wall for buckshot and slugs because I can get more powder, more velocity. And I tend to reload these taper hulls for my clay shooting. So guys, I hope this helped you out. Um, comment, let me know what you think. And don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Buck and Slug Reloaders. Thanks for checking us out. Oh yeah, and shout out to Ballistic Products for sponsoring my Facebook page. Um, you guys check them out. They got every component you need for all types of reloading. Buckshot, slug, steel, um, you know, everything so so check them out and hope you guys enjoy the video